Today, part two of Why Men Cheat, and the boys are here to tell you some of the signs to look out for if your man is cheating. One thing that, that seems to come through all the literature on this subject is that for men, if things change in the relationship, if the woman withdraws, particularly when it comes to sex, to, to a certain extent, but also that, that acknowledgement of the man in her life, that that's when there's a, a bigger breakdown from the man's point of view. It's complacency in the relationship. Yeah. And it happens both ways. And as soon as there's complacency, as soon as there's just the, the comfy chair, if you like, that's when the problems start. And you're seeing a lot more nowadays, because it's a lot easier to get divorced nowadays. It's a lot easier to separate. Yep. And a lot more sort of 45, 50 plus people are getting divorced and, mm. and separated now and moving to their own homes because people are financially yeah. independent. And it's happening so much more because they can. In the old days, it didn't happen. But one thing for women, how could they identify some of the signs that a man is cheating? I'm sure you all know <laughs> guys who cheat and you've been aware of it as friends of friends or whatever and you've seen the signs and you know what guys do, what are some of those warning signs that women should think, look out for? I think for? Peter hit on it before where, where things change in the relationship. So whether you're spending four days, four days down to one day, weekends are non-existent, the, the couple thing, it's simple things like holding hands and, and that closeness of somebody, when you get a distance from a man, that usually means that there's something going on. If a girl is actually trying to identify she's got this nagging feeling, what are some of the signs she, she might need to look out for that might say, look, my man is strange? I think, I think, the, I think you're <coughs> touching a good, a good point. I mean, my parents still hold hands when they, you know, walk the dog down the beach and stuff. Like, just, if, if you do something that you always do, be it going to a cafe together, mm. being seen out in public together, all of these things, if they change, um, that can that can be a very so good if the guy okay. stops holding the girl's hand, stop holding her, kissing in public, phone calls, yeah, yeah. think of simple things like phone calls, taking okay. his phone to the toilet when he never or, used to, or calling mm. you on a regular basis now it's stopped, or you know the regular things like that. Usually it's because there's somebody another woman involved or somebody else involved, which takes up half their time again. Like having two women at, at once is hard work. Have you done having it? one is hard enough. <laughs> it's hard work. This I've like heard it's really hard you've work. Heard it's really hard work. <laughs> <laughs> That fire got a lot warmer in the background. <laughs> now, Peter, I know you said before that you think once a cheater, always a cheater? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, because if he gets away with it once, then he'll do it but again. But it depends why, but we're talking about a big scope but here. So, but say, for instance, in a relationship, uh, if, if, for instance, something has changed in the relationship, then that's addressed. Surely a couple, and in some cases this has been proved, that they can get back on track. Yeah. And it can get stronger the guy too. Yeah, it can. If it can the guy get stronger. truly... It can but what's yeah. one of the most sickest feelings in the world? Like if together. you look at your partner and you know that they've even kissed someone else or they've slept with someone else, how can you ever look them in the eye again Oh, I think it would be very, very it, hard. Because it's, yeah, about, it's about forgiving. Difficult. It's about loving them enough right. to forgive them and move on. Everyone makes mistakes, everybody. And, and, I've, and this isn't That's just about males. This is about females as well. I've seen a lot in more from eyes. the other side in as mind, well. Of yeah. And we're expected to forgive them because they might have had something that they're not sure about within the relationship. So there's got to be a bit of a give and take there until unless it goes on for 20 years and they cheat can i say regularly. something we're talking about just cheating in a sexual way there's other cheating too oh absolutely i, I think oh, the other way no probably doubt works. people put too much emphasis yeah i think so yeah, too i think you know yeah there's a lot of different forms of cheating yeah. you know and um i think too much emphasis is put just on the sexual so thing. what yeah. would you consider other forms oh. of cheating oh. <laughs> just another man, another person in your life that that takes away that uh, sex is is a, an act uh, the emotional side, if somebody's relating to somebody on a personal level, i.e. telling them their deepest thoughts and their, you know, yeah, giving them, sharing that a lot to me and spending is, a lot of time with them. That, yeah, that to me is cheating at the worst because they're, they're telling them things that you don't even know. Well, sorry, sex, I, I, I yeah. sex that's what you're talking the about. The worst before. sort of cheating is when a woman's dissatisfied in the relationship and, and she's already started making plans without you. Yeah. Uh, this is from the boy's point of view, so <laughs> all right. this is for, for us so girls this is the thing. Night. So when but, it all comes down on you in a real and you go, where did that come from? Mm. Okay, because you know, I think that's the that, thing that about happen. women. Women do cut off when they decide, yep. look, I'm Absolutely. I'm really done. Yeah. They do tend to leave anything. the building before the guy even yeah. realizes and you that, that she's picked up a coat. With you, you don't know about you. Absolutely. Yeah. And they've already gone and started making plans without you for their future. Equally so to men. I mean, yeah. they, they've got oh, the girlfriend on the side. They've yep. got the tickets for the holiday as soon yeah. as he gets rid of the that kind of thing happens as well. But that's a form of cheating too. That's all I'm saying. Absolutely. You're cheating your partner from not. It's, it's not being honest. Anything, yeah. anything you're not honest to your partner right. is it's cheating. About, it's called a full disclosure. 
yeah. to, look, to use full legal disclosure. Jargon. If only well, everyone was so if honest. If only trust. If only. trust uh, so actually, trust you know what? Right. Ninety-eight percent disclosure because. Sometimes you don't want to know everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some things you've got to write about. Mystery. We a need a little mystery. A little 2% mystery. maybe you don't want to know. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for that, guys. And don't forget, you can leave your questions for the boys on the website, thenaomishow.com, and we'll see you next time. Your love life, let's talk about it at naomishow.com.